systematically. Who has the time, really, to prepare a nutritious, delicious meal every single night? Well, you can meet the woman who says that is possible. According to her new book, Glorious One Pot Meal, from local author Elizabeth Yarnell joins us now with more on her great ideas. Thanks for being here today. Thank Good you. Good to see you. The smells fabulous. I wish we had <laughs> smell -a vision What's really unique about all of the recipes in, in this book, in this cookbook, is that it's in, done in a Dutch oven. Yes. Tell us what is what is a Dutch oven? <laughs> don't cook that much, and, and why not a crock pot or something else on the stove? Well, I actually invented this cooking method, and it's pretty much the polar opposite of cooking in a crock pot. It is a one-pot meal, but it's not a crock pot stew. It's not a casserole. It's not a stir fry. It's not a casserole or a, a, a skillet meal or anything else that you might be familiar with as a one-pot meal. And what it does is it cooks in a Dutch oven, and this is a cast iron enamel coated Dutch oven. Today, I brought a heart-shaped one for Valentine's Very Day. Very appropriate. Okay. And this is non-stick dishwasher safe, and the key is in how you layer the food in. It's a complete meal. And then the lid locks on and it goes into a very, very, very hot oven for less than an hour. And so oh, it's wow. So it's the opposite of a crock pot. So it, it is all day. Quick. So it yes. doesn't take very oh, fast. Not all day. Well, let's dive in because I've been okay. through some of these recipes and they really are so yummy. You use everything from shrimp and fish to chicken and you even have a lot of vegetarian meals in there as I well. I do. And in fact, any meal can be vegetarian um, in my recipe. Uh, you can make substitute any protein for any protein, any carbohydrate for any carbohydrate, any um, anything for anything. Really. Okay. And I guess the key is is that this is the entire meal in here, right? It you is. have the grains in there as well. It is. It is. All right. So what are you making so today? So first, I'm making. It's, this is called Cajun fish, and it's super easy because all we're going to do is put the ingredients in, and the only spices we're going to use are garlic and a Cajun seasoning spice. Okay, so we have the onions in there. We have the onions, right and next I put in the fish, but unfortunately I left it across the room. So okay. we're going to pretend the fish is going in. <laughs> and now we put the fish in there. <laughs> Got it. So then we would put in, and today I'm going to use a mixture between sweet potatoes and regular potatoes. Okay, I'm just going to hold this up uh -huh. while you do that. Sure. So people can see how you layer it. And I like to put in sweet potatoes because I think we don't do enough savory sweet potatoes in our society, and sweet potatoes are so yummy. So we're just going to kind of drop some in, and you really don't have to measure anything, and these are just little white new potatoes that I'm okay. putting in there as well. Now, as I was reading the cookbook, it looked like a lot of them were, the recipes are for smaller servings, for about two people or so. I guess you can adjust it if this you need to make it for This is perfect for family. two people, um, and if there's plenty for two people, and even two people plus two toddlers or two smaller kids. Yeah, little kids who don't eat a lot. Right, right. And then to adjust it for larger pots and larger families, you can certainly do that. I'm going to put the green beans green in next. Beans. So pretend the fish is on the underneath those potatoes okay. there. Okay. We're going to put in some green beans, and then we're going to put in just some tomato slices. This all looks very fresh and healthy. You are not a nutritionist, but you are a nutritional consultant. Yes. You did a lot of research. I know that you were diagnosed with multiple sclerosis. And yes. Is that what led you to that is healthy exactly, eating? Yeah. exactly what led me to healthy eating. Before I was diagnosed, I was really not a healthy eater. In fact, my staple food was gummy bears. Oh, well. So. <laughs> this is a bit of a shift. <laughs> it is. It is. So as you can see, I'm just putting in a little bit of Cajun spices. This one's from the Savory Spice Shop, which is here in town. Okay. But you can use any Cajun spice mix that you want or any kind of combination that you want. And then we're just going to be sure that you want to spray the top of the lid before that you close it back up. And why why is it up. necessary if it's not even touching the lid? Well, it would be touching the lid if the fish was in there. Oh, gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. This is just supposed to let's, be in there. Let's show everyone the finished product so, because look at that. You have all of these different courses. It doesn't come out like a stew or anything like that. Exactly. They're all together and all of the flavors then just seep into each other. Well, actually, they don't. They don't. In fact, nothing tastes like fish in this plate except for the fish. Oh, wow. So that's kind of unusual. That when you're surprises cooking me. Mm -hmm. Well, it just looks beautiful. A healthy way to eat. We're going to put up a little bit more information. Okay. If you'd like to see Elizabeth in action and learn a little bit more about her book again, it is the uh, Glorious One Pot Meals. And Glory, uh, you can see um, Elizabeth at Cook Smart in Cherry Creek tomorrow from noon until 2. And for other events throughout the metro area, I know you're going to be at the Complete Gourmet a little bit later in the spring, and you'll be at a Barnes & Noble in May as well. Go to our website, thedenverchannel.com, click on Ask Dean on 7 News, much more information there. So we've got lunch here. Yes, we have. Perfect. Well, you have lunch. <laughs> <laughs> Elizabeth Yarnell, thank you so much. Thank you for having me.